Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So I want to do a quick video to respond to a question which has to do with price elasticity of demand. So when we compute the price elasticity of demand, uh, we get a negative number because of the law of demand. We know the change in quantity and change in price go in opposite directions. Oftentimes we'll take absolute value of whatever is that computed elasticity and then we'll interpret it as being elastic or inelastic according to whether it's larger than one or smaller than one in absolute value. So then the question I got is, well, how do we know? So how do we know if elasticity is greater than one, that it's elastic? And how should we know that if it's less than one, it's inelastic? Okay, so let's think about the definition of price elasticity of demand. The price elasticity of demand is a percentage change in quantity demanded per the percentage change in price. So quite literally, we represent price elasticity of demand as the percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. Usually we report it with this epsilon to stand for elasticity. And I want us to recognize that this thing is a fraction and it behaves just like a fraction. Note the numerator is the change in quantity, the denominator is a change in price. And that leads us to our reasoning. So we say demand is elastic if our computed elasticity in absolute value is greater than one. So what's going on here? I've drawn a cartoonishly large change, percentage change in quantity and a small percentage change in price. And what do we know about fractions? Well, if the numerator is larger than the denominator, the overall value is greater than one. Right? So we have a bigger numerator, a smaller denominator. So what we're getting here is a proportionately smaller price change and a proportionately larger quantity change. So this is telling us demand is very responsive to that small change in price. So if we have very responsive or, or very responsive demand, we call that elastic demand, elastic, right? So suppose we have the opposite situation. Suppose we have a cartoonishly large change in price and a small change in quantity. Here we have a massive price change. We have a small response in quantity, right? This is very unresponsive demand. We'll call this inelastic. And of course, this is going to be computed as something less than one. Think about when we have a bigger denominator and a smaller numerator. Think about things like, you know, one half, one third, one fourth. As the denominator gets larger, the value gets smaller. So that is why when we compute the uh, elasticity, I actually should put the uh, sign here for absolute value, but when we compute the elasticity as being less than one in absolute value, uh, we'll say demand is very unresponsive or very inelastic. 